Each year, the editors of Food & Wine magazine select the best new restaurant in America, and this year it is right in downtown Oakland. Burdell is reimagining soul food in a way that is capturing the attention of the food world in a big way. John Ramos spoke with the chef and the owner about the personal influence behind his dishes. Oakland has gained a reputation as an innovative food scene, but sometimes the best is hiding in plain sight. Among all the new restaurants in the country, Food & Wine has chosen this unassuming spot on Telegraph Avenue as Restaurant of the Year. We first kind of heard about this in January, so, um, and then I think it was like March or April when we got the news that what they were kind of snooping around for. Jeff Davis has spent 20 years in the restaurant business, but when he opened Burdell almost a year ago, it was an homage to his roots. His grandmother, Burdell Demby's picture is on the wall, but she's also in every dish he cooks, and he's busting some myths about soul food. Black food being summarized as like fried and sugar glazed and, you know, is, is you know, really dismissive of a rich culinary tapestry of like dishes that are um, it's more of an ethos and it's a real cuisine. It's not just um, food in a styrofoam box. Jeff puts his own spin on traditional dishes like the smothered pork chops or the barbecued whole shrimp that the New York Times picked as one of the 23 best dishes in the country. But he's also given the restaurant a unique 70s decor, reminiscent of his family's kitchen, right down to the old Pyrex plates that he's collected from across the country. He's put his own soul into this food, and Food & Wine's editor-in-chief says you can't help but be charmed by it. And I took my family to, to Burdell this summer, and it was a perfect evening. You know, that, that California light was streaming through the windows just so in the late afternoon, and, and every single dish was a banger. You know, and, and this, this soul food through the lens of California cuisine and California ingredients, you know, that to me is what is so refreshing about this restaurant. But in true Oakland fashion, Jeff also has a feeling for social justice. On the menu, it explains that a 20% service charge has been added to pay his staff a decent wage, and because he feels tipping has been used in the past as a sneaky way of keeping workers underpaid. I've certainly worked at restaurants where, you know, the servers are making two to three times more than the kitchen, and I just don't think that's fair. And, you know, we just wanted to kind of level the playing field and now that the announcement has been made, the staff doesn't have to keep the secret any longer, and Jeff gets to let everyone share in the recognition of being Restaurant of the Year. It's an amazing honor, um, and you know it's just really exciting for uh, the team and you know for Oakland that we we have one to hang on the mantle, you know. But despite all the accolades, he says this is still a really tough time to be building a new restaurant with so many other established places going out of business. It's been really awesome, but, you know, I don't want to give any illusion that we're like completely fine. We're, we're you know, hustling and trying to get as creative as possible to like make this a sustainable business, you know. The restaurant business has never been an easy one, but the post-pandemic economics are making it a real leap of faith. It takes a lot of heart and maybe some soul to keep that dream alive. Wow, the award is a bit of a birthday present. Fridell will celebrate their one-year anniversary on Monday. Big changes 